Hey guys, Taylor here from Beaten Jeans, and today I want to share with you three super healthy, fresh, delicious, and easy meal prep salads that you can keep in your fridge to eat all week. To make this artichoke and Brussels sprout salad, the first thing you're going to want to do is air fry your artichokes. So dice up some garlic and then um, drain your artichokes from the can, dry them off thoroughly and cut them in half. Now you're gonna to wanna to drizzle a little olive oil over the artichokes and then add like a quarter teaspoon of salt and some fresh black pepper. After you've stirred everything really nicely, Put your artichokes onto an air fryer basket, and I like to put a little parchment paper down just to catch all of those yummy drippings. Make sure you scrape out all that garlic and put that on top, because it really adds to the flavor. Then you're gonna put it in your air fryer at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. All right, so while those artichokes go into the air fryer and you wait for them to cook, we're gonna make our super simple dressing which is just a combination of olive oil, lemon juice, salt, pepper, Dijon mustard, and super finely diced shallots. All right, so now we're on to the base of the salad. So get a couple big bunches of Brussels sprouts and you're gonna wanna trim off the ends and then stick them in a food processor and shave them really thin. You can do this by hand, but it's so much easier with a food processor. Then you're gonna wanna chop up some celery and add that to a bowl along with those Brussels sprouts. Now you're gonna to want to drain and rinse a can of Great Northern Beans and add that to the bowl, along with an entire bunch of parsley, the ends trimmed off and diced up super fine. Now we get to take those beautiful artichokes out of the air fryer, don't they look amazing? So you're gonna to wanna to add those into the bowl, steaming hot is fine. And then you're gonna add your dressing and give everything a good toss and you are good to go. This salad is seriously so good, you guys. It's perfect to bring to parties. It is healthy, it is paleo friendly, vegan friendly, whole foods plant-based friendly. You can even add cheese if you're a vegetarian. I'd recommend some Parmesan in there. But it's really good to keep in the, in the fridge for up to seven days in a glass container. All right, so out of the three salads, this one has to be by far my favorite. It is the curry roasted couscous. It's amazing, you guys. So you're gonna start out with a head of cauliflower and you are going to uh, just cut that into little florets, put it into a bowl along with some butternut squash. And I get this one at Trader Joe's. It's already pre-cut, makes it so easy. And then you're gonna add a half a cup of olive oil and these Greek chickpeas from Trader Joe's make this so good, but you can use regular uh, chickpeas instead. And then toss everything with some curry powder, and that is all going to go into the oven. Don't forget your salt and pepper. So spread your veggies evenly between two baking sheets, and then take a half a lemon and put one on each pan. 
Um, into the oven, they're gonna go for 30 minutes at 475 degrees and give it a good stir about halfway through that time. Veggies are roasting in the oven. You're going to make some broth, which is two cups of water, and then I use the better than bouillon, no chicken base, instead of just using regular vegetable broth. This makes it so much more flavorful. Now that the veggies are finished, we're gonna remove those lemons and then we're gonna sprinkle three quarter cup of couscous onto each pan along with one cup of boiling broth to each pan. And then you're gonna give that a really good stir. Now take some tin foil and cover each pan nice and tight before placing it back into the oven at 350 degrees for 10 more minutes. So all of that broth should be absorbed into that couscous and oh, it just smells so good, you guys. Um, you're going to put it into your serving platter or into your containers and then drizzle it with that roasted lemon over the top and some of that fresh cut cilantro. So this curry roasted couscous is so good for summertime. It's great to have in the fridge. You can have it warm or cold. It is just my go-to right now. I cannot get enough of this salad, seriously. Um, and then it will last in the fridge for up to a week, but uh, it never lasts that long in this house. To make the rainbow pasta salad, the first thing you're gonna do is cook up some orzo pasta. And while that's cooking, you're gonna make your dressing which is just a combination of extra virgin olive oil, oops, uh, some fresh lemon juice, garlic, uh, some Dijon mustard, agave, some oregano, and salt and pepper, and then you're gonna blend that up with an immersion blender if you have one, otherwise you can stick it in your own blender. To make the base of the salad, you are going to cut up some fresh veggies. Today I chose to do some cucumber, carrots, tomatoes, red onion. But the good thing about this salad is you can really throw in any fresh vegetables that you have or any fresh vegetables that you like. Um, I always mix it up. Usually I throw in some kale or spinach, um, even some banana peppers are super good in this. After you've added all of the veggies that you want, go ahead and add a can of drained and rinsed chickpeas. And then I wanted to add a little bit more veggies, so I added some cabbage, um, some sliced olives, and then go ahead and add that cooked orzo in and your entire thing of dressing and give everything a really good mix. The salad is so easy. It is fresh, it's healthy, it's bright. Um, it's such a good complement to anything that you're having this summer and I really, really hope that you enjoy it, guys. All right, guys, that's it. Those are my favorite meal prep salads. If you guys make these, be sure to tag us on Instagram at Beaten Jeans, and we will share your photos. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and let us know what you think about these meal prep videos. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.